Still sluggish from the poor saving gravel from the COVID break heading from the Chelsea Curves River Roads are in good shape. Next report in minutes, I'm Ben Alter. This report is sponsored by JCPenney. Ring in the new year with big savings. This weekend only, get up to 60% off select items across the store. And don't miss your chance. I wanted to go over something today <clears throat> that is very sick, but very not uncommon, and I'm not surprised, not surprised at all. You know, I keep thinking and thinking and things that keep going through my mind. I mean, it's like, wow. <clears throat> when is this nightmare ever gonna end? You know, you sit there and you wonder. And as you can say, we got a 15.5%. But what is it? 15.5% raise in Massachusetts. Oh man, I don't know how sick this world or even this state alone can get. <clears throat> you know, I shouldn't be, I mean, I should be worrying about it, but with my stuff that I got going on, you know, oh man. But, like always, I, I gotta throw my two cents on this shit, cause it's sick, it's sick. It's just fucking sick. How long are these people gonna suffer before they get it through their fair thick fucking skulls? How long is this, are these people gonna suffer? How long are you, is the United States just gonna keep on letting in people? Giving free money to people. Free money, free living. I have a damn thing that I'm gonna put up on this thumbnail pic that someone else posted about what happens to you when you go into other countries. <clears throat> Hell, I'm just gonna do a video on that too. But it's going to be in my thumbnail pics for the rest of uh, any kind of these videos. Because it's only true. You know, you go to Thailand, you go to Korea, you go to all these foreign countries. Sometimes just entering them, being a white civilian, an American. You do one damn thing wrong just being there. And everybody comes here to get everything free. Free. Free living. You know, the, the, the fucking come here refugees. Come here illegal immigrants that are not doing it the right way. That's what I don't like. Immigrants can come here all they want. If they do it the right way. Of course, I can't find that article now of the uh, the immigrants that came here and waited, <clears throat> did their 20 years of getting their <clears throat> whatever, you know, green card or whatnot. 20 years or whatever it takes to become a U.S. citizen. Now, I'm sure they got plenty of places <clears throat> you can go to do all your friggin' stuff to become a legal United States resident. Not just come here, cut the line, and cut these people right here. Oh, oh geez, veterans. Veterans. Oh, why does this not surprise me? 15 point, find this was in yesterday's newspaper. I literally took a picture of it. I knew I had to cover this story. And what is it for? Homelessness. Oh, is growing for veterans. 
There's your rate. Excuse me. <clears throat> and this poor guy's story, man, went into. Don't worry, I'm out of red light. The Navy at 17, 1984. Oh my God. He come back, started a life, got a girlfriend, got a joint account with this girlfriend. And for some goddamn apparent reason, this girlfriend wanted to clear out this guy's bank account. So yeah, it ended up coming back here. Yeah, I need my coffee. <clears throat> and I was just now hoping, well, this article said he was hoping to get, you know, housing before Christmas. I mean, I don't think this was yesterday's paper. Maybe it was the day before. Maybe it was just before Christmas, whatever the hell it was. I mean, come on, man. This is just getting ridiculous. Not only do you give free money to people coming in here illegally. Hell, give that free money to needle shooter uppers. Yeah, methadone. Like I said, I know a person right now that's a real fucking scumbag. On methadone, mind you. And of course, I did something towards this person to piss them off. And I will say this, that this person <laughs> said next time he sees me, he's going to kick my ass. Well, I'm still waiting for that. But methadone junkie. I'm not saying names, of course, but this methadone junkie stole money from his own kids. That's all I'm going to say. And it wasn't his money that he worked for. It was a girl that he had the kids with stole their money. $1,500. Oh, no, $500, sorry. $500 to cut on surveillance to go do more drugs, to go shoot up more needles, to get more fucking heroin. And he goes to the methadone clinic to do his junk there for free and still robs money to get his high with the outside. $500 stolen. Fuck you and your free fucking drugs to people that want to steal from their own kids that, mind you, ain't even over the age of eight. All right? You want to throw some dirt on someone's fucking parade, make it a big pile of shit. Well, there you go. So keep funding them fucking druggies and goddamn not give nothing to the homeless veterans that serve for this fucking country and right could have died in the fucking process sick fucking sick I say my piece with authority and as for the junky heroin motherfucker too if you ever get the wind of this video I'm still waiting for your <laughs> ass kicking <laughs> of course, I get anywhere near that fucking piece of shit. Better put myself in some goddamn saran wrap. So I don't know what the fuck if the cocksucker got AIDS or something. Some kind of fucking hepatitis C or herpes. Or I'm going to be rolling around punching the shit out of that and catch something. Or whatever. I'll fucking drop kick that fucker to the moon. But anyways, I just want to, I had to throw that story out there, and I don't give a fuck who sees it or hears it. Because it's sick. People that go to the, I see methadone clinic in Fitchburg all the time, all the time. And when the days come and the, when it fucking opens up, man, 
and they had to open that damn thing on a Sunday now because Monday come around when Sunday was closed. Yeah, that's right. I put up a video. How many people do you think were standing outside that goddamn fucking methadone? I'd give you 60 fucking people. At least. You know, fuck that bullshit. And then you, you, you can tell the people there out there getting the still on the street. They get it for free just to get their fucking asses out of trouble and go back on the street. And what the fuck are they going to, how are they going to get caught? How are they going to get caught when the drug already runs mad through their system? How are you going to catch a junkie with that kind of surface? How are you going to catch him when they got all that through their system? <clears throat> you don't. So, homelessness growing problem for veterans in the Bay State. 15 and it keeps going on and on and on. And that, of course, don't include every other fucking state that has a homeless vet sitting on the street just trying to get a dime to get some food, coffee, whatever the case may be. And these junkies and these illegal immigrants get everything handed to them for free. Free, free, free. But you get them little motherfucking bastards out there and do some fucking community service. I got a perfect community service with junkies and people that are illegal. Excuse me, and just come here to fucking, you know, just come here to get free money. Not come here to do everything legally. No. How about get all your asses out there on the sides of the street and clean the fucking shit up? That's right. You heard me. Go pick up some fucking trash and pick it up all off the side of the street. And I don't care where it is, wherever it may be, wherever may trash be thrown, go pick it up, because that's all you fucking deserve to get your free money. As our veterans sit here and fucking rot after they're the ones that made your freedom to come into the United States. They're the ones that fight for your freedom to come to the United States or to get even your free fucking drugs. Yeah, that's right. These people did it. Veterans. Right here. And they're all homeless. Because you guys get more free than them. The fuck is going on here? Oh, I wish I would have went and got my goddamn monetization going. Thank you, YouTube, for fucking me up once again. But if I had, you know, this is why I tried to build a channel to make money, not only to get myself out of my homelessness, my rut, my fucking nightmare, but to try my damnedest and best before I fucking die to help someone else in need, just like me, just like this. Veterans. Help Native Americans. Help whatever the fucking case may fucking be. Other homeless people. Come on! This is what I'm here for. Hopefully one day I can do that. But until then, I gotta keep making these videos. Keep shugging along. See what the hell comes up. But give a big round of a fucking applause and a big salute to our veterans who made this country give free money to people. That's right. And as they sit and rot on a fucking side of the road for nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, enough said. Be safe. Take care. Out.